Newton, uh, went to school here, uh, went to sixth form college actually where you were a governor at the time and uh, you know found myself at Cambridge University and at the end of that time I decided to move back here to Luton. My roots in Luton are pretty deep but you've been here a long time as well. Well 41 years so it's definitely home now. My passion for politics is undimmed you know I, I, uh, I, I've been interested in politics since I was 10 years old. I love people and love company and love you know being around but you're, you're the same you're getting to a point now you've done so much work that almost everyone in the town knows who you are. Well, it won't be long before they're saying, hello, <laughs> Gavin, who's that man with you, meaning me? <laughs> well, we've seen a massive improvement in schools. You know, the quality of education you get in Luton schools is now infinitely better than it was. Every time I go around schools, I get really excited because of the, the quality of the education that people are experiencing there. And it's astonishing the number of building projects that are going on, all government-funded, essentially. I mean, we've got... I think six of the seven high schools in Luton North are either being rebuilt or about to be rebuilt. We've got the Sixth Form College, a complete new building, yeah. but the university, in fact I've heard that architects and the construction sector say if it wasn't for these government projects, you know, they would be in serious trouble now. And it's, it's this sort of thing that keeps the economy going. If the Tories were to just savage all these programmes, um, unemployment would, would rise substantially and we'd be driven straight back into recession and it could be very serious. Growing up in Luton under the Tories um, kind of early 90s, I remember what it was like seeing, you know, family, friends, closing the doors in the house, posting their keys back through the letterbox and walking away and we cannot risk that again. Talented people go off to university and that's the last we see of them. And actually we need to have people reinvesting back in this town. You know, I always speak positively about my beliefs when and wherever I go. I mean, one of the things I really respect about what you've done is you haven't been afraid to stand up and speak out where you have possibly spotted uh, that we're going in a wrong direction. I was asked to vote for things which I thought would be to their disadvantage. I said, I'm sorry, I think that's wrong. Um, and I could refer back to, you know, the people I'd met. I wasn't just talking in theory, I was talking about real people and how they were affected. It seems core to the job to me that you like people, mm. that it actually, you know, ultimately politics is about these very big things and you know, grand visions, but if it doesn't make a difference for individuals, and if there isn't that sense of connection, you know, amongst communities, then what, what is it for? Sure start is possibly the, the, the greatest achievement of the, of the present Labour government. I think it has a made a real difference. And so many young families need proper support. Obviously the Tories want to take 20% of the Sure Start budget away. You know, sure Start which makes such a difference to young families. And the Tories clearly are not interested in, in, in that part of the population. Um, if you're interested in only looking after the rich and cutting Sure Start, you're interested in rich people who don't have children. You know, locally there have been some issues with trust in politics, but your claims, you know, expense claims were exemplary. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't, uh, I, 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 again, I get slightly embarrassed by all this talk. I mean, I just do what I do. I go home on the train and, and uh, don't have a second home and uh, concentrate, focus on my politics, which is what I'm supposed to be doing. And I have to say that, um, that 65,000 a year is not a, not a salary on which people starve. My interest in, in politics is not filling my boots. My interest is actually changing the world. Um, you know, I want to advance towards a more socialist society. And uh, whenever we, turn, we make a step forward, that's when I cheer, that's when I celebrate. Um, and if we have a step backward, I get annoyed and try and work to change that and reverse it. So, but politics to me is about passion and about commitment and about changing things and making life better. The essence of this debate in this election, which is really crucial, is do we want uh, Labour or a Tory government? We can talk about what has been achieved in the past, but all is to say, well, we're not satisfied with where we are now, we've got to, things have got to be improved. The Tories say they won't cut the NHS, but they will take away our rights to see a cancer specialist within two weeks. They'll take away our rights to see a GP out of hours. People know there is a real choice this time between cuts and, and, and employment. We can't give up on pushing for a fairer society. And if people have that kind of choice, they'll know that it really means something. I think uh, a priority must be housing, because we've got 8,000 families on the housing, waiting and transfer list. 
desperate shortage. The principle of is if you can keep people in their jobs, you can keep them in their homes. And as for the health service, the health service, any squeeze on the health service means that elderly people in particular will suffer because it's older people that use the health service more. It's Labour that is presenting a positive Britain, uh, you know, positive vision for Britain. It's all about education, it's all about employment. I'm proud to say that we've got two candidates that are local, that are rooted in the community, who are willing to stand up and speak out for Luton's interests. There's a lot to do and uh, we need Labour government to do it, quite frankly.